evening, my name is Howell Chaplin, and you are watching H46 Pro Boxing League on the official Facebook page. I'm joined tonight by Mr. Robbie Owen, Miss Cara Lees, and Francis Black Jesus Cummings. We are at the Morningside Arena in Leicester, England. <coughs> so, I'll turn to Robbie for my first question of the night. Robbie, it's the first time in the promotion's history that we've seen the event stream globally around the world through Facebook and through our 46 Pro Fight Pass system. Uh, how can people get involved in this? How can people get involved in, in watching this fantastic event? So, yeah, basically what they need to do this evening is um, on the Facebook page there's a link. If you click on the link, it'll take you to our website. Uh, and on the website, it'll take you through the process. You can pay by credit card. It's 4 dollars for the Fight Pass. The first three fights, prelim, prel get my words out, preliminary fights are going to be screened live on Facebook in about sort of 15 minutes' time. Um, so, yeah, you can get involved. Click, click, click on uh, the link, 4 dollars and then you get the full Fight Pass experience only. Fantastic. So, tonight's card actually starts with some H46 Pro League matches. So, aside from a win or a loss on a competitor's record. What else is at stake in these league matches? Explain the format to us. So yeah, in terms of the format, it's a, like I say, it's a league format where points are awarded per victory. So, or even manner of victory. So if you win by knockout, you get a certain amount of points. If you win by stoppage, um, referee stoppage, certain amount of points. If you win a title fight, you get a certain amount of points. So it's all about climbing up the league system to get to title level, um, and the rewards are bigger in terms of the fighters purses and in terms of obviously winning a nice title belt as well. But um, obviously the title belts need to be defended three times, very much like the Lonsdale's British title, where if you defend it three times, you get to keep that belt, um, and then you can progress up to, from silver level up to gold level then to compete over the five round uh, duration. Certainly sounds like a fantastic setup. I'm also joined, as I said, by Cara Killer, Killer Queen Lees, who is a title holder in the U46 Boxing League Women's Division. <clears throat> so Cara, as a female competitor, what female fight really stands out to you tonight and what are you looking forward to about it? Um, I'm really looking forward to watching Karis Dalziel again uh, versus Katie Millman who has come up from Stevenage. Um, I think probably because they're quite close to my own weight so maybe we might see one of them drop down to welterweight um, and also Karis's last outing, she was absolutely storming it and she just had this massive smile on her face and it was clear to see how much she enjoys boxing and loves the sport so that's really important to me um, and I'm just really glad that we've got so many ladies on this one. I think that we've also done now is taken away the name women's fight because we don't say it's a man's fight so in order to keep it you know it's just a fight for us um, and the ladies are as good as the men as far as we're concerned so there's no distinction between them. Definitely, he's got a sex pro boxing league leading the way in getting equality. So we also said that you are actually a co-promoter of this event. Obviously you're looking to make a statement tonight in Leicester. But what can we expect from these events moving forward? So moving forward I think we always put on a really slick show. Um, and we're looking at bigger venues. We really like to put on the bazaars, make you feel like you're a pro almost. So we pull out all the stops. As you've probably seen in the background, we've had all the ring done. We've got our own style and we've changed the corners to black and gold. To reflect that, you won't get our H6 brand, what we do on any, any other show. Fantastic. Now to my right, I am joined by Francis. Black yeah. Jesus coming. Yeah. Good everyone. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. So... Yes, certainly do. As a competitor yourself, yeah. what are you going to be looking for in that ring of Do you know what? It's going to sound cliche, but looking for good tactic fights, explosive fights. I mean, these guys have been training for months. They've been in the gym for months, they've been putting everything on the line for months. For this one particular evening, for this particular fight, on this hate for this show. So I'm expecting to see a lot of things, I'm expecting to see a lot of grit and determination. Um, it's going to be interesting to see how people perform under pressure. I mean, it's one thing doing it in the gym, it's another thing getting in the ring. So it's going to be interesting to see if those people who train well in the gym can bring that and perform well in the ring. I'm looking forward to seeing that and I'm looking forward to commentating on it. It's going to be brilliant. 
And as the manager said, he will be joining me in the commentary positions, but he is also the age 46 fighter. So that leads me on to my next question. When yeah. can we see you back in the squared circle? Well, Black Jesus, when's he back? I don't know. Um, I'm looking at hopefully next month. Uh, I've got a hip flexor problem. Um, sounds like an excuse, but it isn't. I genuinely do. Uh, I want to be in tip top condition when I get back in the ring. Uh, you can't take these things lightly. So I'm hoping next month, if not, it will be the show after next. Any, well, the next show that will be put on place. That will be when you see me back in the ring. But yeah, soon. Watch this space. Ladies and gents, you hear it here first. Finally, now we'll go to Mr. Robbie Cohen for one last question. So, this brand has snowballed in recent times, okay? So, this year, moving forward, what can we expect? Can you give us a flavour of what is going to happen in the coming months? Okay, so um, for the rest of season one, um, in a couple of weeks' time, we're down in Kings Lynn. Um, after the Kings Lynn show, we've got a massive show in Cardiff um, at the Vale Sports Arena. Going into season two, um, we've got some really big announcements to make. Obviously, we're going to be back in the Comedy Sky Dome on the 29th of June. Nearly a year to the day where things start to really snowball for us at that time. So it's going to be really exciting to be back in the Sky Dome on the 29th of June. Um, following that, uh, we're going to be um, along in Park of Scarlet in uh, Thanekli, so in my home, home area, uh, which is really, really exciting. Um, I know you're at Scarlet Sport as well, so um, we're going to be in Parker Scarlet on the 20th of July. Before that, we're going to be in Northamptonshire County Cricket Club, uh, which is a massive, massive arena. Um, so we're going to be sort of like East Midlands way, um, sort of heading over in that direction to put on a really, really big show in Northampton. That covers a sort of like the Milton Keynes, Stevenage sort of area. So again, we're looking for fighters in that area to sign up and also compete on the H64, um, H64 Boxing League platform. Um, the platform the platform has grown massively in the last year. We're really, really excited about it. Um, we feel that we are um, distinct from, like I said, Cara said, from other brands where we've got, you know, Golden Black Corner. All of our fights now are streamed on H64. Right, um, hit it, can't even get my words out. I'm so excited. Yeah, Fight Pass. Um, in terms of Fight Pass, it's a platform which is offering something to boxers which any other boxers can't get. Um, so we are really, really excited about it. Um, tonight's going to be explosive. Um, like I said, we're setting fights on the card. Um, four really, really high quality titles. Fights. Stick around on Fight Pass to watch them. Um, and we've got a full arena as well this evening at Leicester Motorside Arena. And also we'll be back here as well at some point um, in doing this uh, this coming year. So it's really, really um, exciting times. And um, unfortunately, this is going to be Howell's last show with us. Um, he's going to Cage Warriors as their main MC. So I'd like to thank Howell. Um, Massively for what he's done for the last three or four years. That's a pleasure. And um, yeah, like I say, I'm absolutely going to be losing him. But we've got a new MC starting um, at King's Den called Danny Kendrick. So, hi Danny, um, the pressure's on you in a couple of weeks' time. Um, so, yeah, like I say, hopefully we'll try and get Black Jesus on the card as well. Um, but I'm trying to sort of like coerce him. <laughs> so, um, yeah, um, like I say, thanks, thanks to everyone who subscribed. Um, the subscriptions have been absolutely crazy. Um, over the last 24 hours. So I know a couple of people are having some little bit of technical difficulty, so I'll get back to those people now. Um, and we'll make sure that um, everyone has a really, really good experience with Fight Pass. Ladies and gentlemen, you heard it here first. H46 Boxing League is a groundbreaking promotion for UK fighters. Don't go anywhere, stay on Facebook, because as you can see, the Morningside Arena is built up behind us, and we will have some fantastic fights to bring you very soon. For H46 Pro Boxing League, I am Abu Chapman.